Harvey, we need to talk because our relationship needs tending. Our what? Needs what? You heard me. We're in a relationship and it's not working. Then break up with me and go out with somebody else because I'm busy. Harvey, I am serious. We're partners. We need to work on our relationship and we need help doing it. Lewis, what exactly are you getting at? Dr. Lifshitz. Your therapist? Yeah, and he agreed to... No. But... Lewis, there's no way I'm going to a session with your therapist. Actually, it'd be for the both of us. Are you fucking kidding me? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Well, he thinks it's a good idea. Which just goes to show that he's an idiot. And so are you. Don't turn this on me and don't talk about him that way. What's going on here? Harvey won't go to couples counseling with me. What? Exactly. No, not exactly. Because you took my client, you're upset about Dominic, you insulted me, my therapist, and the woman I love. And none of that would have happened if you put the needs of this firm over your afternoon delight. And here we go again. Lewis, will you give us a minute? Donna, I don't want to talk about this. Oh, too bad. Because I heard the way you spoke to Lewis before and just now, and there's clearly stuff going on with you that you're not dealing with. Probably has something to do with what you just went through with Marcus. This has nothing to do with him getting a divorce. He's what? He called. They're not gonna try and work it out. Well, I don't care if you go see Lipschitz or someone else, but you need to deal with yourself. And stop treating Lewis like you used to because he's not that man anymore. And I thought you weren't either. Uh, Harvey, if you are here to tell me that you think another of my ideas is stupid. I'm not here to tell you that, Lewis. I'm here to say I'll go see Lipschitz with you. Do you really mean that? Or is this going to be like the time that you said you'd take me to dinner for my 35th birthday and you never showed up? It's not going to be like that time. And what about the time that you... Not that time either. I'll show up for this. I promise. And that's exactly what you said the time that you... Lewis, if you mention one more time, it will be like all those times. Then I want you to know that I really appreciate you doing this, Harvey. And to save time when we get there, you should know that I sit on the left-hand side of the couch. Fine. And I probably don't need to tell you this, but you don't have to bring your own tissues. Why would I bring my own tissues? Because we're gonna be doing some deep work, Harvey. So if you need to have a good cry, I just want you to know that you're safe and I will not judge you. See you there, Lewis. Wait, do you think we should hug now to set the tone or do it after? Okay, we'll do it after, good call. Now that we've made our introductions, I'd like to start with Harvey describing what he thinks Lewis's perspective is on the situation. I don't feel comfortable. Please, just say the first thoughts that come to mind. About how Lewis thinks? Huh. Let's see. Cat's ballet, Harvey Specter. Something like that. That is not what I sound like. All right, Lewis. You want to know what you sound like to me? I've been jealous of you since day one. You were always Jessica's favorite and everyone else's. You got everything I wanted without ever trying. In fact, I'm trying to have a baby because I, I, I think it will take my mind off of you even though I know deep inside it won't. Tell him to stop. He's being honest about his feelings, Lewis. And what about your feelings about whose fault this whole thing was? What? Lewis. I should have known you just wanted to get me in here to have him tell me this is my fault. It is your fault. Lewis, we are not here to discuss fault. Well, then why the hell are we here? Because he took my client, he won't give her back, and he needs to apologize about what he just said about me having a baby. I am not apologizing about anything. You wanted me to come here, you said this was a safe place, and now you can't handle what I think about you trying to have a baby. No, 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 you don't get to make this my fault because it's always my fault but I thought this time we could come here so you could tell him that it's his fault, but if all you're gonna do is mock me and all you're gonna do is coddle him, well then you can keep Joan Walsh, you can go to hell, and this whole session is over. Well, this was a waste of time. Maybe so, but for what it's worth, I think you have some things you could work on, and provided Lewis was okay, I'd be happy to talk with you anytime.